Hey, pilots, Drain Man here, and today we are going to be updating firmware on this brand new Radio Master TX15. Now, if you have a TX15 Max, or maybe you have a Radio Master Boxer, or you've got the Zorro, or the Pocket, or the TX16, TX16 Max, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter which radio you have because overall, other than the buttons being in a few different places, or maybe I have a smart screen and you don't, other than minimal things like that, the process is pretty much identical. So I'm going to walk you through this process and you can follow along. If we are hitting the return button and you're on the same radio as me, mine is here, but maybe on your radio, yours is over here. That would be pretty much the only difference because at the end of the day, this is a Radio Master radio and the firmware or software that is on this radio is Edge TX. So as long as you have those two things, we're going to be able to move through this together beautifully. All right, so let's get started. Now, there is multiple ways to update the firmware on your radio. Doesn't matter which one you have, but there are multiple ways to do that. You can do this through the Edge TX Buddy online, or you can manually update the firmware through the bootloader method or DFU mode. And you can do that manually just using uh, an SD card or just plugging it into the computer and moving files back and forth. So there's two ways to do this. Each way has its ups and downs, so it's kind of up to you which way you want to do it. I'm going to use the Edge TX Buddy because why not? It's very simple, it's very easy, and as long as it works, we shouldn't have any problems. Now, if you're going to be using the online version, you can get all of the firmware and SD card contents all located in one spot. It is a step-by-step -step process, and it's normally very, very simple. Here's the catch. You do have to be using a Chromium-based browser like Google Chrome, MS Edge, Brave, Opera, and others that are like that. So if you are truly, truly against those, you can either do it the other method or you can just suck it up this one time and get it done. The very last thing that I want to touch on is when updating firmware, a part of this is SD card contents. And this is where you have all of your logs and your files and your sound packs and everything that makes this radio so awesome. Well, in this brand new hot model here. There is an onboard four gigs of flash. You don't have to worry about an SD card. There is an SD card expansion. You can put in an even bigger SD card and put even more stuff like loads and loads of songs if you just want to listen to music coming right out of the radio while flying. And I can show you how to do that and we'll do that later on. But Keep in mind, once you put in an SD card, your manual onboard flash does become not active anymore. It will automatically default to the SD card. So make sure you have everything on there, not just a little bit once you insert that card. Now, out of all the other Radio Master radios, the Pockets, the Boxers, the TX-16s, the Maxes, all of them, none of them will have this onboard flash other than, and at the time of this video, other than the TX-15 and the GX-12, and that is both the Crush and the Dual Band Gemini version. All right, let's go ahead and open up a browser and get started on flashing. So the first thing we're going to need is Edge TX Buddy. If you don't know how to find that, you can do a simple Google search. I'll show you. And if you still don't want to do that, I'll put a link for you down in the video description, and that will be... So let's begin our search, Edge TX Buddy, and it's right there. And if you had a hard time with that, the link to this URL down in the video description. So with the Edge TX Buddy open, the first thing we'd want to do normally is pick our firmware. If you are running any other radio, come right here and select the highest. Scroll all the way up and pick the latest version possible. If you are watching this video before the release of version 3.0, so as you can see, we are at 2.11.3 at the time of this video, which is under 3.0, there will be no solid release or stable release 
of firmware for the TX15 radio. So I won't be able to do it this way for me. We will still be able to do it. We're just gonna do like kind of like nightly builds that are kind of just keeping things up to date until they release the final release. But after that has happened, you'll just do it right here. You'll select the latest firmware, boom. You'll pick your radio model, which you would scroll down and pick the radio master of your choice. Now, if you have a TX-15 or TX-15 Max and you are watching this before the release of 3.0, we're gonna need to do something just a little bit different. And what that is, is we are gonna need to head over to the Edge TX website. And we're gonna do that by scrolling down just a little bit and it's going to say supported radios and right here you're going to see a link i'm going to click on that and that's going to bring open these check supported radios if i scroll down you're going to see that the tx15 will be supported at 3.0 but until then we've got to use these factory downloads so let's click on that once you're here, you'll want to see what versions are available for you because maybe you've got the latest version and this is a waste of time. So we're going to do that together really quick. So let's check the latest version, which was 91025, and the build is E5C3F410. So come here with me to the radio. All right, so we will power up the radio. Welcome to HTX. Throttle we will press any key to continue. We are going to go ahead and press system. And then I'm gonna press this info button right over here. Radio master build, and that's A344A1E2, which is not the latest per this website. If I scroll down just a bit, you'll see it right here. It's update two. We are on update four. So I do wanna go ahead and update to that because there's something else too I'm gonna to touch on very quickly up here. If you're getting one of the newer radios, these are just momentary switches. This one is an actual two position switch, momentary, two position. Inside of your bag that came with your radio, you do have the option to take this and you can actually pull out this switch, this button, and actually install a three position switch, which is very cool. But then you have to go down to the switch and just tell the radio that that switch is a three position switch. But when you get there, you only have the option for two position. And maybe you're watching this video because of that. And if that's the case, I'm gonna solve your problem. All you have to do is do this update. So let's keep going. All right, so here's your Edge TX Companion. We want this latest version right here and it depends on when you're watching this. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this. And I want to put this inside of my documents, FPV, and then I want a Radio Master Profile, which I don't have. So I'm going to right click, New Folder, Radio Master TX15. So I'm going to open that folder, and that's where I'm going to put this save. I would then take my USB cable, which is plugged into the computer. I would plug it in here, and then I would hold these two trim centers while powering on. And you'll see that the radio is now in bootloader mode or DFU mode. Once that opens up, and I am going to find my radio, which is right here, and this is the Edge TX that popped up. And this is my USB drive. So here is both files that have popped up. Now I'm gonna need the new file that we downloaded. So I'm gonna head over to Documents, FPV, TX15, and there is my new firmware. I'm gonna drag and drop it over here. It's gonna copy it over. And looky here, it's writing. Okay, writing complete. So it already knew what to do with the file without me even telling the file what to do, why to do it, anything like that. So it's just that simple. So once it's over and once it's written, we should be able to hit return, which will Welcome reboot our radio. 
We'll tap a few things. We're going to hit return. So just like that, my firmware is updated. As you can see, it did the writing and now I'm on the new firmware. Well, to my wonderful surprise, in the update notes, it says right there, we are entering UI 3.0, which is user interface 3.0. And that is why I tell you, I'm like blown away by this watch. When I hit system, you can see that all this looks different and maybe yours doesn't if you're already on UI 3.0, but if you weren't or not, or you followed along and now you are, this is super cool. So you've got the user interface setup. You've got your tools. Look, I go into my apps, watch this, boom, and there's all my stuff. I'm gonna jump into Express LRS and just everything is just so smooth and nice and cool and updated and I like it. So now we can continue along with the playlist. We've got one more update we wanna do and that is the Express LRS update for the firmware on the radio. So please make sure that you follow along with this playlist. I hope that you guys will. I hope that you guys are having as much fun as I am. I hope that you'll make your radio as awesome as mine. And I will see you on the next one.